I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Welcome to Perfected Praise Worship Outreach Center at the Meadows. We are a church in the community for the community. We are located at 31042 Smith's Ferry Road in Franklin, Virginia. Join us at 1045 a.m. every Sunday for worship service or join us here online for virtual worship. We love to have you in the midst. Good morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Can you stand on your feet? Hallelujah. Can you stand on your feet and put your hands together and give God a hand of praise for what he has done for you this week? Hallelujah. How he's kept you as you traveled up and down the dangerous highways. How he has been with you and he kept back the hand of the enemy. Hallelujah. Can we give him a hallelujah shout out this morning in thanksgiving and in praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm excited this morning because of what God is doing in the life of his people. Amen. Hallelujah. He deserves our praise. He deserves our admiration. Because God is God and beside him there is none other. So we bless the Lord. We welcome our Facebook family. We ask that you will join in the experience that what we have been done in this place, when it's all been said and done, we will know that we have been in the, truly been in the presence of Almighty God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles with you, we ask that you would find the 24th Division of Psalm. We bless God for your presence on today. We thank God that he laid it upon your heart to come and be a part of the worship. The Bible says to forsake not the assembling of the saints together. For where God is and the unity of the people are, there it commands a blessing. Amen. 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 And I shall begin reading at verse 1, the 24th division of Psalm. And it reads, The earth is the Lord's, and all is fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, Selah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in, who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Lift up your everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for who you are in all of your glory, in all of your majesty, in all of your awesomeness. Oh God, we thank you for the privilege to gather once again, united in one in heart, body, mind, and spirit. Oh God, we thank you for your presence on this morning, for you have declared in your word that when there are two or more gathered in your name, there you are in the midst. So God, we welcome your presence. We ask you, God, to have your way this morning. We ask you, God, to have your way in your people this morning. God, we ask you to have your way in this service. God, we ask you to move by your spirit. Let your Shekinah glory and your glory shine. Fill this temple, God. Have your way, Father. Speak to the hearts and the minds of your people, God. And God, we want to just say thank you. We thank you, God, for this weighted congregation. We thank you, God, for those who desire to be with us this morning, God. But for some unforeseen reason, they were not able. But we thank you, God, that you bless 
bless us this morning, God. That when we awaken, God, we awaken in a peaceful situation, God. That there were no bombs, God. There were no air, airplanes flying over that caused us danger, God. But you allowed us to awaken in a peaceful environment, God. And for that, we're grateful. We are grateful people on this morning. So, God, we commend this service unto you. Speak. Speak, Lord, speak. Use your man servant, God, that he should come to break the bread of life, God. And we'll be open to receive what thus said the Lord. So, God, we say thank you. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord, because you said that everything we to give thanks. But it is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning each of us. It is in Jesus' name that we pray this And the people of God say,
the sacrifice that he died for us. Amen? And then on this communion day, we're reminded of the sacrifice. The sacrifice of God's love. No greater love. Anybody else had anybody die for you? I know I haven't. But I know Jesus did. Amen? Hallelujah. And I'm thankful that he did. And so because he died, he was buried, and he rose again, and he lived. And he sits on the right hand of God the Father. I can expect great things. 
that leans in what we call his name. We serve a God that reward those who diligently seek him. Amen? The Bible says that he will give us, if we delight in him, he will give us the desires. There it is right there. If we delight in him, he will give us the desires of our hearts. Amen? doors with an expectation. There's a demand and a pull on the Holy Spirit. And God cannot do anything but show up. Amen? It's not about who's in front of you, who's sitting next to you, or behind you. But it's what's in here that you need God to do for you. Amen? Anybody open for what God wants to do in your life? Hallelujah! 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 And so this morning, we are honored to have a preacher in the house, amen? amen? A man of God, a man who walks with integrity. He walks heavy. Been preaching ever since he was a young boy, amen? amen? Amen. But he began to live his life out as a preacher, mature. He's in the family, not only in the family of God, but in the biological family, amen? amen. But he was always different. We always knew that there was something different about him. And when you find a young man that can go and sit among an elderly individual and sit for hours and hours and talk and encourage and, and just be, enjoy being in the presence of an older person, you know something that's special about him. And he would go and sit at his grandmother's feet, hours on hours, amen? amen. But we are blessed to have a preacher in the house that is a preacher, who not only preaches the word, but he lives by what he preaches, amen? Amen. amen. And we will be less than who God has called us to be if we were to entertain anything other than the mouthpiece that when he or she opens up, they will say what thus says the Lord. Amen? Amen? So I ask you to prepare your hearts for this man of God who is, who is a husband, a father, grandfather, a brother beloved, a, bro a brother beloved. Amen. Amen. Call him Reverend Cuz. Amen. So I ask you to prepare your hearts not to sit in your tent doors judgingly, but receive what thus said the Lord. Amen? Because I know Reverend Anthony Bryant is going to speak what God said. Amen? Amen? Amen. We ask God to allow him to have his way. Have his way in his life as God will have his way in your life if you will permit him to, if you will allow him to. Amen? Amen. Amen. After the voice of the psalmist, the next that you will hear will be that of Reverend Anthony Bryan. Amen. Amen. St. Paul, RZUA Church, Suffolk, Virginia. Uh -huh. Amen. Where his pastor is Pastor Grant. Right. Amen. And then this next song that I'm going to minister, um, it blessed me as, as I think about the song and think about life and, and what we go through. You know, we're all going through something and we look at the world and the news and all that's going on around the world. And, you know, as Pastor was praying, I had just thought about, um, you know, we are such a blessed people that we're able to come and worship God and, and not live in fear of being killed or being abducted. And we can freely worship God. 
But I think about the people who wish they had that ability and how we sometimes take it for granted. You know, it's people who wish that they could come to a synagogue, they could come to a building, they could come to a church, and they don't have the ability. But here we are. So what will we do with the moments that we do have? You know, when we think about life and life is tough, and as young people say, life be life and you know, we go through so much. But I'm reminded of the goodness of God. No matter the situation, no matter who comes, no matter who goes, no matter what happens. Thank you. 
nobody like him. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Just think about it all when the boat was quiet. And I said, God, I just thank you. Yes. You know, I learned after all these years, hallelujah, and even learned before, nobody like God. Uh, you can't depend on nobody but God. If you're depending on anybody else, you're making a mistake. Hallelujah. Thank God, thank God, Pastor Montgomery. Amen. Come on, bless the Lord for her. Thank God for all of you on today. Hallelujah. Thank God for Auntie, Mother Hunt, Doris. Amen. Johnson, the hunter. Amen. Come on, bless the Lord for her. Thank you. Thank you. Praise team. Amen. Awesome testimony. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Yeah. Amen. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I just thank God. Keep me in your prayers. Amen. Because I tell you, I tell you, I said we can stop right there on that testimony. Yeah. Amen. Just think about how good God has been and what he has done. Amen. Yeah. What he's yet doing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It's not, not about me. It's not about me, amen, but it's all about him. Hallelujah. This this morning, this this morning, we just thank God. Amen. Amen for being here. Amen. I just hallelujah. I'm just stuck right there for a minute. Hallelujah. Come when I look back over my life, amen. Hallelujah. I've been somewhere everything. I've already told you many things that when I won't tell you everything. Amen. But it was the grace of God. Amen. And it's by the grace of God I am what I am. Come on now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I found out through life my worst enemy is sometimes it's just me. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Amen. If I could just get me together and keep keep me in contact. Amen. Amen. Keep me on the straight and narrow. Everything be all right. Even though everything is not like I want it, but guess what? It ain't what it could be. Um, amen. 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 But let me just start out. Just thank God for being here again. Amen. Amen. My mind just be wondering. Hallelujah. God, what would you have me to say? Amen. Here again. Amen. But, but this world needs help. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's time out for church in the same old way. Hallelujah. I remember when Bishop said that church will never be the same again. And, and it, won't, it won't be the same again. Because we don't have long. I don't believe. I don't believe we have long. I'm 61 years old now. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless God. Amen. I seen times I almost didn't make it to 17. Amen. I almost didn't make it to 18. I almost didn't make it to 19. I almost didn't make it to 20. 21. Amen. And I still find that the enemy still would try to put situations in our way where if it had not been for God. Amen. 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 Let me, let me say this. Uh, 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 ladies, please, please, all over this world, Please, look out for yourselves. Amen. Don't fall for everything. I ain't in my message, but I, I'm going to get it all out. You know, I got to get it out. You know, don't don't fall for everything. You know, I had a situation this week. Amen. We're, we're come to find out a young man was harassing a young lady. And long story short, come to find out he wasn't even supposed to be in the shipyard. Amen. And, and and you know, the first thing the enemy wants to do is break you down and break down your self-esteem. And, and, uh, and when he breaks down your self-esteem, then he slowly gets you to get away from your family Jesus. and your friends. And then after a while, once he feels like he got you, then he can keep on doing whatever he wants to do for you. Y'all, you know how I am. I, 
I'm not going to stand there and just watch somebody, you know, uh, abuse a woman. No, I, so anyway, it wasn't a fight, but I thought about how the situation could have been. Yeah. Huh? Could have been. Because security is not like it used to be. Amen. People don't care like they used to. Uh, everybody getting slack on their jobs now, huh? Uh, even on the work we are performing. Amen, 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 amen. Well, he said that is not a script. Yes, it is. Yes, he tells us to be diligent, amen. amen. And I work. But I'm just saying this, young ladies, young men, you know, and let them young men know that, that a woman is not there for you to beat on. A woman is not there for you to manage over and walk over top of. Uh, but y'all y'all be one. That's husband and wife. Uh, I got to get everything out, you know. Amen. And, and, and the thing of it is, is, and if it ain't your husband or it ain't your wife, you ain't got no business with him no way. Okay. Amen. 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 Because whom the sun set free is free indeed. Amen. It's up to you to place yourself in the yoke of bondage again. Amen. So y'all keep me in prayer. Amen. I ain't going to be up here too long. I don't know. I don't know. Let God have his way. Amen. But but keep me in prayer because one thing I say we do need somewhere. We need a house. You know, one of the houses that, that house abused young ladies and their families and hired them out. See, people are not interested in doing things like that anymore. And they help them out, but but our people need help. Yes, yes. This world needs help. We just looking at Israel and just looking at what's going on on the news, but it's a whole lot going on right in our cities. Amen. 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 Man, amen. And that leads me to the, amen, the scripture. Amen, amen. amen. Ask that you would stand, please. And I find out on the. Book of Job again, amen. First chapter, seventh verse. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. Ephesians 2, New Testament accompanying it. First to the third verses. And you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. For in times past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that what now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and the mind. And were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Let us pray, Father God, we thank you for all that's being said and done. For even now, God, as you remind us again, God, of your word, that touch our ears to hear what the Spirit is saying unto the people. Touch our hearts to receive it, that it be good ground. And God, that it will go forth, God, and touch somebody else. And let them come say, what should I do to be saved? Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. The mission still hasn't changed. The mission has not changed. Huh? In this world system today, we must always remember that the Bible is always right. Huh? That's, that's why the enemy does not want us to study and show ourselves to prove unto God that a workman be not ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. That's why, that's why it's always you look and we are busy, we're doing and we're going and we're running left and right and we're taking little time out with God. Mm, we look for the pastor to do it. We look for the deacons to do it. We look for the praise team to do it. Huh? But you got to do it yourself. Huh? You see, it reveals to us what God has for us and who he is to us. Stop worrying about the other person all the time and what they're doing. What about yourself? Huh? And, and if you read this Bible, the Bible said God has not changed. Huh? 
and neither has his word, huh? Yeah. And then he said in his word, before one jot and one tittle of my word shall change, heaven and earth shall pass away. Huh? Yes, I came to tell you again, he's still holy. Amen. Huh? Amen. He's still omnipotent, Amen. all powerful. He's still omniscient, yes. all knowing. Yes. He's still omnipresent. He's everywhere at the same time. Amen. Even the psalmist said, well, if I make my bed in hell, Amen. thou art there also. Yes. Huh? And I be trying to figure that thing out. God going being in hell, but hell can't touch God. Because uh, God created hell. Yeah. Not for you, but for Satan and his followers, huh? So we should just not believe today, but hold on to him every day. Yeah. Let who God is burn in our conscience every day. Yeah. You can't put down, you can't, I, I done found out, y'all, you get. You just can't. The, the, the more you more you look at other things and other people and the more you depend on others and all, you're making a great mistake. I found out that you can't depend on nobody. I said, but you can't depend on nobody but God. Well, especially for your happiness. Amen. Especially for your joy. Amen. Especially for your peace, huh? Yeah. Uh, 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 I even say to myself sometimes, I ain't going to say it. I said, I ain't going to say it. I said, but by the end of the day, I go ahead and say it. What I need to say, huh? Mm -hmm. And get it on out so that we, because we say we say. Yeah. Huh? So I want us to act and be like we supposed to be. Well. Ah. Church, do you know who the real enemy of the church is? Who, who, let me ask you this question. Who or what is our greatest influence in our lives? Huh? Have we gotten wiser in the things of this world? Mm -hmm. uh, smart, you know, uh, really I got my doctorate degree, you know, and all this, but I count all that, like Paul said, but dumb for the excellency of Christ, huh? Huh? Because if you got all that and then yet you don't understand God, you still don't have anything. Amen. Huh? And have we gotten weaker in our faith? Mm -hmm. See, that's what the enemy is after. The enemy is after our faith. He's after our walk. He's after our trust in God. See, the enemy has not changed his strategy, and he's still on a mission to take us out. Yes, sir. Uh, that, that's his mission, to take us out, to keep us from being who God wants us to be. Yes. Keep us confused. Keep us always doing little things, the little things, destroying the vine. Uh, keep us keep us worried and upset and all that. No, you don't need to be upset. Same God yesterday, same God today. Huh? No matter what you're going through, he's the same God. That's, I, I love that testimony. I love this because he's the same God. Hallelujah. He already told us in these last days what was going to happen. He already told us in his word what was going to happen. Why are we surprised? Said men will become lovers of themselves more than the lovers of God. Amen. Why are we surprised that nobody don't want to do anything yes, uh, unless you pay them? Mm -hmm. oh, uh, they don't even want to come to church unless you give them something. Huh? Uh, it ain't, it ain't going to be like it used to. Y'all, let me wake you up. It's not going to be like it used to. Yes, but it's up to you to be like you're supposed to be. Amen. Uh, I can't remember again and say, no Lucifer, the devil, the ruler of the world, the evil one. He didn't just die yesterday. Now think about it. He, he tempted the angels to turn from God. He tempted Eve to mess up God's relationship between Adam and Eve. Yeah, he had a choice. And guess what? He even messed with Job. Job's relationship with God also. He by, by saying, look, look, look. Help God really see this. Yeah, he, he'll do this, God. You know, I'll make him turn from you. And that's what he wants to do today. Yes, Take our attention away from God. Look at that. Look, I got older now. I don't run as fast as I used to run. Uh, I don't lift as weight, much weight as I used to lift. I lift hardly any in there. And, and sometimes come across my mind when I look in the mirror, I say, boy, you remember when? Uh, but remember when ain't going to do me no good. Uh, I got to look at the now and my future. Yeah. What, what I'm going to do now and the future. Because uh, you don't need a whole lot of muscle that ain't going nowhere. 
Uh, you need a mind in Christ. Hallelujah. You need a mind, huh? Everybody set on getting rich now. Huh? No, keep your mind on Christ. Question is, what did the devil got you doing to displease God? Uh, to keep us from getting the best of what God wants from us. But, you know, that's, that's a self-question. Uh, I want to go even deeper into this. It's a self. It's, it's your own personal self. Because like I said, you're the only one that's hindering you. Yes. Huh? When I was going through all them years and losing all that weight, my wife crying and praying and got people praying and all that, me, I was satisfied. Because I said, Lord, if I die, I'm fine. Oh, everybody else wanted to live. But I was ready. Huh? Because I know for me to live is Christ and me to die is gain. Huh? No more heartaches, no more pains, no more suffering, no more worrying about what people think, no more getting up in the morning and all that old crazy stuff. But I'm going to sit back and relax and wait on the trumpet to sound. Then I can get up out of the grave. Hallelujah. Folks folk think I'm crazy sometimes, but that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. But, uh, but, 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 but the devil really wants to stop us from shining for Jesus. You see, when you, when you, when you look bad, God looks bad. You know that? When you look bad, God looks bad. If anything happened to any pastor or anything, it'll go around the world so quick. Anything happen with a saved person go around so quick, uh -huh. but do something good. You don't even hardly hear about it. Amen. Huh? That's why demons would try every tactic to blind you from the gospel truth. Still tell you, 2 Corinthians 4 and 4, the God of this world uh, has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. That's the devil's job. Uh, to keep you from seeing Christ. Mm -hmm. to, see, to keep you from seeing the true mission of Christ. I often ask this question, when the last time you witnessed to somebody? Well. When the last time you told somebody how good God is? Mm -hmm. when, when, when is the last time? Yeah, I, I know sometimes, I, look, I got a little walk now. Yeah, I, I feel a little feeling sometimes. But, but God is still good. Yeah. Uh, I get frustrated like everybody else and all of that. Like that. But what you gonna do is you gonna complain or you gonna give God glory? Hallelujah. Huh? That's why one of the things also is that, listen, too often people, uh, the sheep think the pastor's supposed to go get the people. Uh uh. The sheep begets sheep. The sheep's supposed to be going out there telling about the goodness of the Lord. Huh? So that the world would know that there is a hiding place for the people of God. There's a hiding place. Because people need somewhere to go, y'all. Yes, yes. Ah, we just came through the pandemic. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't been through this and that. Don't you think the world needs a savior? Look around now. Yeah. Ah. And when we were when we were in the streets, you remember that? We gave our all to false friends. Oh, you have to come to remind you again. False friends and fake lifestyles. Um, because we didn't, we didn't know, no, we didn't, we should have known better. But in a way, we were still walking in the flesh, so we don't know better. Huh? Come to find out the friend, when you really look for the friend, they're gone. Huh? Let me, let me tell you, when I was smoking weed and all, that's why I laugh when people, you know, no, no, no harm. A lady introduced me one time. She said that was a good little boy. And she said he was one of the sweetest, which I, I respected my elders. I, I did respect my elders. Amen. I did respect. I did do this, that, whatever. But, but when she, by the time she said all that, I got up to the podium. I said, I don't know who she talking about. <laughs> <laughs> because she, evidently, she didn't see me when I did uh -huh. what I did back in the day. Come on now. Huh? When I got with the boys and did what they done, huh? They didn't see all that and smoke the weed like they done and cuss folk out like, like you know, I, I knew how to cuss you out all different kind of ways. Huh? But I ain't gonna cuss you out in front of my, I wouldn't cuss you out in front of my mama and grandma and all them, you know what I mean? Huh? They didn't see all that. But then when it came down, when I truly accepted the Lord as my Savior, well, well, well. when it came Strung out, they didn't see him no more. 
Huh? Even when I was going through, let me tell my testimony. So that, even when I was going through, a guy in high school, one of the first guys in school, when we smoked some weed together and all like that, and, and he went to the military. Anyway, he called me, and I was going through. And he, he had been going through, and he told me, yeah, I was looking for you, but I thought you moved out of town. And I said, no, nah, I live over here on 1214 Baltic Street on Cypress Farms. He said, what? He said, I live right here in Walnut Hill. I'm right behind you through the woods. I said, oh, yeah? I said, well, I'm just laying in the house. I'm going through. And to right now, I haven't seen him yet. Huh? I come to be real. I ain't, I ain't come to tell you about, about, about Moses and raising the Red Sea. And I, I'm tired of talking. I tell you, we'll talk about it, but the power of God. I'm tired of talking about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh, it's about time for now to realize now. What do we have to do now? Right now. Yes. Huh? Yes. Ah, amen. Be saved. But the Bible says, barely, barely, you must be born again. It's not a show. I can give you a show. Amen. I learned show good a whole lot. I can give you a show. I learned, I learned, I learned how to do what we're going to do today. Take the Holy Communion and go in the back. When we finish drinking it up, I knew how to do that. Uh, I knew how to do some stuff, huh? Hallelujah. Because the environment that you're in, I don't blame it. You make your own choice. Huh? But it's easy when you got a church that don't stand for anything, you can do anything. Uh, when you got pastors and preachers that don't stand for anything, you can do anything. Huh? Hallelujah. But when you got somebody telling you that God is looking at you, that God has got his hand on you, that you're going to answer to God, not me. Hallelujah. Then it becomes a whole new world. Huh? Everybody today want to be like the movie stars. Uh, the famous singers, the rap artists, and I, I was watching MTV. I said, let me just look at MTV, and the young lady was rapping, and I couldn't hardly understand anything she said. And I said to myself, and it doesn't make any sense. Huh? Putting together a bunch of words, huh, just to sound good, but has no meaning, has no substance. Huh? We got wiser, but weaker. Huh, the beat sounds good, but where's the substance? Huh? The movement and the shaking and all the young ladies want to just twerk, 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 twerk. Huh? Uh-oh. Uh, then, then the devil will get in your ear and say, he's picking on me. No, I ain't. Why, why is the only thing you got to give a man is shaking your, you know, behind? Huh? Man, I want you for your mind. Man, I want you for to build something up. Oh my God. Hallelujah. I know Facebook here, so I'm talking to Facebook. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But everybody wants to be like these people. I'm, I'm still shaking my head. Yes, I like to have some of their money. I don't need all of it. I don't need all of it. I still tell folks $50,000. That's enough for me. Uh, but I don't, I don't need all their money. Because I, but I know what to do with their money. But they got all that money, and they're not happy. This one committed suicide. Yeah. That one committed suicide. You, then you look in there and, 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 and Newsweek, you look at this one and that one and they not happy. What's going on? Because they're looking for love in all the wrong places. Huh? Ain't nothing changed. The enemy still using temptations. No. Huh? I'm too old for a lot of things now. Huh? Doubt. God done brought me 61 years. He looked out for me even when I was dumb enough when I was looking out for myself. Huh? Somebody else was praying for me. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Guilt always try to remind you. Yeah, I remember what I used to do and what I used to be. He's going to always try to remind you of what you used to or when you didn't do what you had to plan. He's going to always try to put that guilt and doubt and fear on you. But you got to rebuke that. Huh? And confusion is of the devil always. Sickness, huh? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, he just wants us to be sick and crying off. Uh, no, 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 no. I know even in my sickness, I was weak and I was leaning on my wife to walk. Amen. She prayed. She did a lot for me now. Amen. She did a Matter of fact, she hung right in there. She was losing weight, too. Uh, she was worried so bad. Huh? 
But the enemy wanted me to worry. I said, nah. I learned when you can't do anything, one preacher said, don't do nothing. Uh, when you can't do nothing, don't do nothing. Don't do anything. Just wait on the Lord. Uh, and if God decided to carry you this way, go that way. If he decided to carry you this way, then go that way. Amen. Amen. There ain't nothing else you can do. Woo. Hallelujah. Enemy just want to bring you down. That's all. Bring you down. Especially if you say you love the Lord. Huh? If I want to do a lot of dirt, I can go get a whole lot of people right there to do a lot of dirt. Huh? You can't. You can go get a whole lot of people to do dirt. Huh? But a lot of those people don't want you back out there. Huh? But when you won't try to do things for the Lord, why is it so hard? Because the enemy, same devil, same thing. If he'll go up against God, what do you think he'll do for you? Well, yeah. Huh? When the sons of men presented themselves, what do you think he'll do? You think you're above God? My Lord. Hallelujah. That's why you got to walk in your authority. Because mm -hmm. uh, we're more than overcomers. I ain't saying the devil's going to beat you because you have to submit to him. Yeah. He tell you something down, and you say, okay, yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. He tell you which way to go, and you say, okay, I'm going. Then you submit to him. Yeah. So ain't no need for us to be surprised. Never surprised. God is not surprised. Uh, doesn't the word tell us Satan going back and forth as the roaring lion, seeking whom he can devour, huh? Whom ever gonna do his will, huh? He, he, it's up to you. He don't have that control. It's up to you. The lust of our eyes, the lust of our flesh, and the pride of life. We make our choices, huh? Hallelujah. And then we, we, we got to be leaders. We got to be the ones that really. Be examples. Yes, Amen. Yes. We got to be examples. We ain't no need for us to tell somebody how good God is and we just as hateful sometimes. Jesus. Uh, ain't no need. That's the other truth. I, you know, we say sanctified church. Sanctified. Yeah, but sanctified and nasty. Come on. That don't go together. Amen. Sanctified and mean. That don't, that don't go together. Huh? Right, sanctified and caring about nobody but yourself. That don't go together. Yeah. That, that's why I'm reminded of the Bible. When they came forth, they made sure that nobody had lack of anything. Because they put all their stuff together. Amen. Therefore, we don't even want to holler give anything. Because well. uh, I, ain't, I ain't giving to that church. I ain't giving to that. I don't like that pastor. And if you don't watch it, folk will try to kill a church from the inside. Amen. Huh? Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I said a lot of times. They're going to be giving heed to seducing. Y'all believe there's spirits and demons? Do y'all believe that? Yes. Yes. Amen. Do y'all do y'all believe that doctrine of the devil? They changing the world around. They make it say what they want to say. If Jesus said it, then what in the world? How are we going to say it ain't so if Jesus said it? Huh? They have a conscience, see it with a heart and And they even, I, I don't think I told you, but I ain't going to go into that, but but they forbid the marriage and command the state from meets all that little crazy stuff. And now you, you better watch who's teaching you. Huh? Man, look like he's still here, but man, man marrying man. They ain't just started. Women marrying women. Huh? I'm on that. Hey, hey, I ain't picking up to telling the truth. And where we expect to go. Especially if we support it. And it ain't just that of seeing gossiping. That's a seeing lying. Huh? Envy and strife. And one of the biggest is jealousy. jealousy. Oh my God. When you find out what jealousy will do. When somebody jealous, they'll rub you on your head and stab you in your back. Oh, my Lord. Huh? Jesus. They'll pretend to be your friend. That's why you got to put all your trust in Jesus. Yeah. Huh? Oh. Hallelujah. See, see, thank you, Lord. See, we, see, it was, it was spoken years ago. You got to love what God loves and hate what God hates. Until you ready to do that, you're not ready. You need to ask God, help me, God. Help me to love what you love and hate what you hate. Amen. Amen. Because remember, remember, I was not with flesh and blood. Not with principalities, but with, not, not with flesh and blood, but with principalities, huh? With, with wickedness in high places. That's where our real battle is. We, we fight the demonic forces 
that, that, that really want to take us out. Yes. Huh? I, I realize you're going to have some of the hardest time if you stand up for truth. Yes. Huh? Nobody wants to hear you when you tell the truth. Huh? Nobody, my, 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 some people used to come knock on my door on Saturdays. Um, my first got married mm -hmm. to my wife, Emma, and they knocked on the door. And when they knocked on the door, you know, when I was on 8th Street in Suffolk, they stopped coming around my house. I invited everyone to come on in and sit down. Mm -hmm. By the time we finished, I said, well, you come on back now. About four to six months later, I seen him in hard. I said, I know you. He said, I said, you the guy that's supposed to came back, but he ain't never come back. Huh? Because if you don't know the word, huh, then they're going to come in. That's why he said, leave silly women captive. Huh? They'll come in and come in and come in if you don't know the word. But if you know the word, they're not going to bother you. Huh? There where I am now, they come to the house. When they came to the house, and you know, uh, uh, I don't know. She didn't say that part, but I am half crazy. And, and when I get, when I get, what like I get, and by the time I finish, I told the grandchild, I said, if they want to go to hell, let them go to hell. But you don't have to go to hell. You need to study the Bible for yourself, huh? Well, my wife told me I'd never get anybody that way. I said, well, I said, so be it. By Christmas, I got a letter in the mail from the people challenging me more. I said, you told me I didn't get to them. But evidently I did. They still, they still got me on their mind. Right. Huh? Amen. Hallelujah. But they don't come to my house anymore. Huh? You got to stand for something. Or you'll fall for anything. Huh? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. People, people, I ain't gonna figure you can be jealous of me. And I'm all right. I, 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 I'm gonna figure I'm gonna be, not love you, but I'm all right. How am I gonna hate you, but I'm all right now. I don't understand that. And when I got, oh my Lord, don't say it, please. Yes, I am. And when I got in church, I found some of the worst stuff. Oh, um, woo! How you gonna say you love the Lord and you won't even go visit the saint? Okay. Pastor Foreman, I still say he said God sees a black ant on the black rock in the black of midnight. God sees. Huh? God see. That just came to mind. These six days of the Lord are what? Yea, except an abomination. A proud look. Drop this pride. A lying tongue and hand that shed innocent blood. And a heart that divides the wicked imaginations. Feet that be swift and run into mischief. Y'all remember them days? Fight going, we run to the fight. We want to boost it up. Hit them, get them, get them, hit them. Hit them. Uh, we are not boosting up fights in church. I'm talking about the spiritual fights. I talk about you to her. You talk about her to him. You to, and then we try to get together. No, he trying to keep us divided. Yes. Huh? If you ain't got but five people, the devil will try to keep five divided. Yeah. But ain't but two, he'll try to keep that two divided. Yeah. Huh? That's why if you got a home and a husband and wife can't get along, got that division, you ain't gonna get nowhere. Well. Huh? Ooh, that's why you be careful who you hear. Somebody always tell you. Uh, you remember that they used to tell us that. They don't say that much no more. Uh, girl, I wouldn't take that. Girl, you need to say that. Girl, you need that. Man, I live like one guy. One guy told me the other day, man, I wasn't not what I do what I want to do, Brian. And I looked at him and I thought to myself, wait a minute, your wife left you. <laughs> but you want to give me advice. Huh? Y'all still not together, but you want to give me advice. Huh? Don't matter how good you been, what you're doing. You say I've been good, but you don't see that one. See, that's how I learn about people. We can see everything about everybody else, but what about ourselves? Can you see yourself? Huh? Can you see where your wrong is? You know, you know how you know how we do somebody say something to us instead of us just going to let it go. We keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Then after a while, build up somebody will hit somebody. Next thing you know, uh, uh, husband going to jail. Um, wife still in the house for a little while because they're going to lose the house. Then after they lose the house, then everything just going down. And that's what the devil wants. 
That's what the devil wants. God says resist the devil. But before you resist the devil, submit yourselves unto him. Uh, you got to submit yourself unto God. And then resist the devil. Don't even say, I'm running from the devil and, 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 and I'm so glad. No, no, submit to God first. Yeah. Then resist the devil because you don't have the strength on your own. Amen. Uh, the mission ain't changed. It's not changing. Uh, we got a choice. Either we can be obedient and live or disobedient and go through all alone. Huh? Yeah. Uh, don't, leave, don't let the enemy keep leading you the wrong way. Yes. Yes. Uh, you don't have to perish. You don't, you don't, you, we, we get the opportunity every day for our lives to change. Uh, I drug around, I drug around, I drug around, I walk around, I walk around, I was, I was looking pitiful. But I, I had a choice, either sit at home and lay there and die. I'm still going to work, mother, I'm still going to work. I'm still walking through the shipyard, going to work. Everybody just waiting for me to die. Uh, but look at God. Amen. Look at God. Huh? Amen. Look at God. Amen. Could have been dead and gone. Yeah. Uh, but I'm still here. Right. Um, sometimes still share. Look, 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 one of my brothers say, you, you share the tears. Yeah, I cry sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I get to thinking about it. How people really are and how situations really are. And you know, you know, folks say they love you. Then you look for their love, and where is the, where is the real, where is the real love, real love, real love? Yeah, you know, you know, you think real love is is, is giving the woman a, some candy, and some flowers. And, no, you got to give them a life. Amen. Uh, I, I, I tell people say they love you. I say, well, you died for me, huh? Because Jesus the only one died for me. Don't mean to sound mean. Don't want to sound mean, but it's the truth. Who's going to be there in your midnight hour? Right. Nobody but Jesus. Yes. Right. Who's going to be, be there when you need him the most? I'm telling you, nobody but Jesus. Right. Huh? Because as we get old, I realize everybody got their own thing now. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody can't be everywhere at the same time. Yeah. Everybody can't do everything, but God can. Yeah. God can. Hallelujah. God can. And I thank God. I thank God. I told you, he, 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 he you and my wife to find the right people to tell me the right words. I never forget it. Doctor said, you are not a diabetic. Get off all that medicine. Mm -hmm. They wanted to drug me up, keep me drugged up. And after a while, that medicine would have took my veins up. Mm -hmm. And after a while, my kidneys would have shut down. My liver would have shut down. Mm -hmm. And after a while, I would have swollen right up and died. Mm -hmm. But God. Mm -hmm. Huh? But God, it wasn't my time. I just come to tell you, y'all, stay focused. If you're not focused, get focused. Stay focused on God. This world is, is, is different now. I ain't never seen it like this, and it's going to get worse. Uh, I ain't come to tell you we're going to get a thousand mega church, this, that. No, it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. The thing of it is, but we as saints, we can get better. Amen. That's up to us. That's up to us. Amen? Amen. 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 The devil don't care about you. Mm -hmm. But God loves you. Yes. Bible says God loves so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting yes. eternal life. Yes. Amen? Amen? God loves everybody. I don't know if I ever told you, but, but I had a situation where the young lady, lesbian, she told me, and she teaches the Sunday school at her church, she told me that, that God loves her. And she said, Mr. B, you trying to tell me I'm going to hell? I said, let me tell you this. Yes, God loves you. But if you don't accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you die, you're going to hell. Was that right? Huh? I'm on now. Huh? Yes, sir. See, folk try to make God accept them, accept them their way. Mm -hmm. That's one of my, that was one of my hardest things. It had to be my way. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Right into a woman, he said, you think you always right. And I had to think about it. I had to sit back and think about that thing. 
Because sometimes you can be right, but how you present yourself is a whole other story. Huh? And God didn't want to, he said, compel men to come. You ain't got to beat them down, but compel them to come. Spread the gospel, church. Yes. Let them know that there's a time Jesus is coming back. Y'all believe that? Yes. Jesus is coming back. It ain't going to be long. I, I thought I did, Mother. I thought he was coming back in about 2000. I did. I was sitting in the house. I, I, I thought he was coming back, like I said, in what, 19 something. I thought he was coming back. I thought by there, I was, when I was in Prime America and we were doing the insurance thing and all that, I thought he was coming back. Because the more things I did, the more I saw just what was needed and just what state we in. But he is coming back. Yes, he is. He's coming back whether I'm alive or whether I'm going on to the grave, but he is coming back. And the question today is, are you ready? Are you ready? Pastor. Okay. Are you ready? As you stand to your feet. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray. I pray I have not entertained you, but I pray I've said something. Yeah. Hallelujah. I pray I've said something just to remind. Amen. Remind us. Me too. Amen. Hallelujah. The mission for me has not changed. When Pastor Montgomery texted me, I, I was in a hole like this, hooking up a box in a hole sitting on the ship and I was just thinking unto the Lord you know about some things and and how Lord that I'm just going to sit there and sit in my little corner and I ain't going to bother nobody I ain't going to say anything I'm going to play my bass best I can and I'm not going to say anything I'm not going to ask anybody to preach and I'm just going to leave everybody alone <laughs> See, yeah, that's why I wish you text me. I started laughing. I said, Lord, that hurts. I said, God, you won't leave me alone. Hallelujah. But I just, I just want to get somewhere and sit back because folk not like they used to be. Folk will smile at you, but they got a whole other mission. Come on now. Huh? And then you love people. People don't understand, pastors. You love people, but people don't love you back. Come on now. Let me tell all y'all future preachers because you got some. Let me tell all you future preachers. Don't expect nobody to love you. Jesus didn't tell the disciples that anybody was going to love them. He said you're going to be hated for righteousness sake. Huh? So every bruise and lick you got, remember Paul went through. He went through, he was almost killed. Lord over the side for the gospel's sake. That's why I learned to shut up. Because I ain't been through what Paul been through. But people are not going to treat you right. Jesus already told you. But Paul says it's because of the love. It's the love of Christ that constrains me. That's why I do what I do. It ain't because I've been so good. It ain't because I did all this and did all that, but because of the love of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The love of Christ. God loves you. Hallelujah. He don't want to see you fail and fall. Hallelujah. And then if you should happen to fall, he say he'd be right there to pick you up. Is there anybody here today and you're not saved? I ain't saying, I'm not saying you don't belong to the church, but if you die today, where will you spend eternity? You're not going to heaven anyhow. You're not going because your dad was a deacon. You're not going because your sister was a preacher, your brother was a preacher, and all this. But it's between you and God. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, at home, wherever you are. Hallelujah. If you die today, where are you going to spend eternity? I, I even ride around today. I mean, like, these drive-bys are getting worse and worse. Running to people that, that, that just look like they lost their mind. But it's the protection of God that's keeping them. Hallelujah. So today, if you want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, Romans 10, 8, 9, 10 says, What saith thee? The word is not to thee, even in my mouth, that if thou wilt confess the Lord Jesus Christ, and believe in that heart that God has raised him from the dead. Thou shalt.
shall be saved. Hallelujah, hallelujah. When the mouth man confesses that the righteous, but with the heart, man believes unto salvation. See, we can say the thing with our mouth, but God looks at the heart. Hallelujah. God looking at your heart. What's your heart saying? Hallelujah. On today, is there one that want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Hallelujah. Perhaps yes, you've done all right, you already saved, you all right, no. but you found yourself going backwards. And he said, if you are faithful to confess your faults, I'll be faithful to forgive you and cleanse you of all your iniquity. Hallelujah. What, what a deal. I preached that one time. Deal or no deal. What a deal. God says, I forgive you. It'll be just like you never even seen. He said, I'll make you white as snow. Hallelujah. 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 Perhaps you just desire to pray. Hallelujah. You desire to be prayed for. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So God, we are answering your prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. You tell you not about me. Hallelujah. But it's all about him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bind everything that the enemy is trying to do. Oh, God, touch your ears to hear even what your Holy Spirit right now in the name of Jesus is speaking unto her, God. Oh, God, give her the strength, God, even the more to move in your direction, God. Yes. Where you're calling her unto, God, give her higher heights in the name of Jesus. Yeah, Touch her household even the more, God. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Turn things around, God. Yeah. Even the more, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, she came up not looking unto me, yeah. but looking unto you, God. So, God, right now, we give every situation over to you. And, God, we thank you right now for the deliverance. We thank you right now, God, for the strengthening, God. We thank you right now, God, for making the change. In the name of Jesus. Come on, give God a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Come on, better thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is so.
people, God, you do it, God. You do it, God. And when they come back, God, let the results be negative, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, God. God, strengthen that evil of all, God. for each one of our moments, our now moments. Amen? Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. The invitation has already been extended. Amen. And the response has been none. Know that this day has been recorded in heaven, church. We thank God for our Facebook family. We thank you that you took the time out of your busy schedule to share in this worship experience. And we do know that we do have a Facebook church. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. That people are responding. People are inquiring perfected praise about perfected praise. Amen? And I bless God for that. I truly bless God for that. And even through the response that we receive, there are those that they are reaching out. Tell me more about perfected praise. So God is moving by his spirit, Reverend. Amen. And God is reaching those beyond the walls. For the greater work is outside of the walls. Amen. But we bless God for those who he allowed the spirit to draw you. And know that if you came, God was prepared to give you what you needed. Amen. Amen. So we bless God for what he's doing in the life of perfected praise. We want to say to our Facebook family, thank you once again for the seeds that you have sown into this ministry. Know that we are more than blessed because you've chosen 
to pour into perfected praise. And now we want you to, to know that when you sow into fertile ground here, perfected praise, you do reap a harvest. Amen? Amen. 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 So can we put our hands together for our Facebook family? <laughs> know that we love you, that God loves you even more. Take this word with you and share it. Don't be selfish. Give it away. And we look for you next week, same time and same place. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Now give yourselves a hand, clap of praise for being.